Hello friends, in this module we shall discuss power absorption of driven oscillator. Objectives, first to derive differential equation of driven that is forced oscillator, second to derive energy equation of driven that is forced oscillator, third to find average rate of absorption of energy that is power absorption. Fourth, show that the average energy over a cycle is constant. Friends, we know the child swing. When force is applied to a child swing, it swings. This is an example of driven oscillations. When force is applied to the oscillator, it absorbs energy that is power and oscillates. Let us understand power absorption. Power absorption is the average power absorbed per cycle by driven oscillator to compensate its loss of power in overcoming the frictional or resistive force and thus maintain its oscillations. When the steady state is reached, the average power absorbed is equal to the average power dissipated. To derive energy equation of driven oscillator, we first derive differential equation of driven oscillator. When a body oscillates with external periodic force, three forces are acting on the body. First, restoring force is responsible for oscillatory motion, that is, restoring force proportional to the displacement from equilibrium position directed towards equilibrium position. We get F1 is equal to minus Kx. Second, damping force responsible for damping of oscillatory motion. That is, damping force proportional to velocity in a direction opposite to that of velocity. We get F2 is equal to minus R into dx upon dt. Third, external periodic force. Let it be F3 is equal to F0 sin qt, where F0 is the amplitude of applied force and q is the angular frequency of the applied force. Thus, the total force acting on the oscillator is F is equal to F1 plus F2 plus F3. So, we get F is equal to minus kx minus r into dx upon dt plus f0 sin qt, this is equation 1. Due to all these forces, oscillator set in motion. Therefore, this force is equal to the force stated by Newton's second law of motion. According to Newton's second law of motion, force is equal to mass into acceleration f is equal to m into d square x upon dt square. Equate equation 1 and 2. We get m d square x upon dt square is equal to minus k into x minus r into dx upon dt plus f 0 sin q t. Rearranging above equation, we get m d square x upon dt square plus r into dx upon dt plus k x is equal to f 0 sin q t, this is equation 3. This is a second order linear inhomogeneous differential equation in x and is called a differential equation of forced oscillations. If a damp oscillator is driven by an external force, the solution to the motion equation has two parts. One is the transient and second is the steady state part. First part, transient solution. The transient solution of equation is obtained by considering the homogeneous part of the solution, that is in the absence of external force, that is F0 sin qt term is 0. This gives differential equation of damp oscillations, that is m into d square x upon dt square plus r into dx upon dt plus k into x is equal to 0. Part 2, steady state solution. 
that is a particular integral. The steady state solution is the particular solution to the inhomogeneous differential equation of motion. It is determined by the driving force and is independent of the initial conditions of motion. Once the steady state is reached, the oscillator oscillates with same frequency as that of applied periodic force. This part of the solution can be obtained by trial and error method. Let its solution be x is equal to a sin q t minus delta. This is the displacement equation, where a and delta are arbitrary constant and to be determined. Differentiate above equation with respect to t, we get d x upon d t is equal to a q cos q t minus delta. This is equation 5. Again differentiate above equation with respect to t, we get d square x upon d t square is equal to minus a q square sin q t minus delta. This is equation 6. Substituting x d x upon d t, d square x upon d t square in differential equation of force oscillator that is equation 3, we get minus m a q square sin q t minus delta plus r a q cos q t minus delta plus k a q sin q t minus delta is equal to f 0 sin q t. Take sin q t minus delta common from above equation. We get k minus m q square a sin q t minus delta plus r a q cos q t minus delta is equal to f 0 sin q t. Now, add and subtract delta in RHS of above equation. So, we get the RHS term f 0 sin q t minus delta plus delta. Now, solve RHS of above equation with formula sin a plus b. Here, put a is equal to q t minus delta and b is equal to delta. So, we get k minus m q square a sin q t minus delta plus r a q cos q t minus delta is equal to f 0 sin q t minus delta cos delta plus f 0 cos q t minus delta sin delta. This equation will satisfy if the coefficients of sin q t minus delta and cos q t minus delta on both sides of above equation are equal. A in bracket k minus m q square is equal to f 0 cos delta, r a q is equal to f 0 sin delta. These are 7 and 8 equations. Now, squaring and adding equations 7 and 8, we get a square in bracket k minus m q square bracket square plus r square a square q square is equal to f 0 square cos square delta plus f 0 square sin square delta. Take f 0 square common in RHS. We get a square in bracket k minus m q square bracket square plus r square a square q square is equal to f 0 square in bracket cos square delta plus sin square delta. We know sin square delta plus cos square delta is equal to 1. Therefore, we get a square in bracket k minus m q square bracket square plus r square q square is equal to f 0 square. Rearranging above equation, we get a square is equal to f 0 square upon in bracket k minus m q square bracket square plus r square q square. Taking square root on both side, we get a is equal to f 0 upon under root of in bracket k minus m q square bracket square plus r square q square. This is the equation of constant amplitude of driven oscillator. Put amplitude a from above equation in equation 4. We get x is equal to f 0 upon under root in bracket k minus m q square bracket square plus r square q square sin q t minus delta. 
this is the solution of the force oscillator with constant amplitude a frequency q phase difference delta between the driving force and displacement to derive energy equation of driven oscillator multiply equation 3 that is differential equation of driven oscillator by dx upon dt we get m d square x upon dt square dx upon dt plus r into dx upon dt bracket square plus k into x into dx upon dt is equal to f0 sin qt dx upon dt. This is equation 9. In the above equation, the first term is the derivative of kinetic energy and the third term is the derivative of potential energy. Let us solve the first term. Kinetic energy is equal to 1 half mv square. Here, v is equal to rate of change of displacement that is dx upon dt. Therefore, kinetic energy is equal to 1 half m in bracket dx upon dt bracket square. Differentiate above equation with respect to t, we get d dt of kinetic energy is equal to d dt of 1 half m in bracket dx upon dt bracket square. We get d dt of kinetic energy is equal to 2 times 1 half m into dx upon dt into d square x upon dt square. d dt of kinetic energy is equal to m into dx upon dt d square x upon dt square that is equation 10. Potential energy. Potential energy is equal to 1 half k x square. Differentiate above equation with respect to t. We get d dt of potential energy is equal to d dt of 1 half k x square. d dt of potential energy is equal to 2 times 1 half k x in bracket d x upon d t. 2 to get cancelled. Therefore, d dt of potential energy is equal to k x d x upon d t. This is equation 11. 